Hi, this is Miss D at D Special Things. I am participating in the 2017 YouTube Easter Spring Hop that is being sponsored by Snap Diva One. There are nine ladies participating in this hop, so make sure you check each channel out because there are prizes to win are on every channel. But in order to win those prizes or a prize, there will be a winner on every channel. In order to win a prize, you must subscribe and comment on every single channel. You have to subscribe and comment on all nine channels for a chance to win. Okay, so make sure you check out every channel. Their channels are in the box below. They're all listed in the description box below. So check them all out. And let me go and let me show you my project. And then I'll tell you what I use to make it. I'm not going to show you products. I'm just going to, because some of them I can't show you now. Here is my project. Okay, and you're probably wondering what it is. Okay. This is, <laughs> no, no, you can't see it, and I'm going to leave it sitting right here. Okay, I needed to make Tussie Mussies, okay? So, I needed quite a few of them, and I also needed to make a project for this hop. So, I found this tree at the Target Dollar Spot, and I wanted to use it. But the tree had um, eggs on it that were colored, different colors. So, and I wanted, I needed this to be purple. So, I actually painted, I brush painted. It was white. The tree was white and it had a few leaves on it. Um, and it had the eggs on it. So, what I did, and I got a lot of glue strings hanging here. I, um took some flowers, these burlap looking flowers, and these are um, some flowers that I got from my stash, as you can see, and they're, I got them from Michaels, and they're Ashland flowers, I don't know, I got them a while back, so yeah, they're the Ashland burlap looking flowers, and I just thought this was a great idea to use for this tree. Okay, and then I took buttons, and the buttons, I think most of them I got from Joann's, but I also took, let's see, Got Flowers, Prima. Um, these are older flowers, and they come in so handy, because every time I need to do a project, I'll use this right here. But what I did was I took the, I painted, I brush painted this entire tree purple, or let's see what color was that I used I used purple cow by Americana I used this color and I brush painted it meaning I, I didn't try to fully paint it I just painted it in certain spots um, yeah and then I took buttons and I just glued them down to the trees uh, to the limbs of the tree and I used the flowers on on them and use a little bling to kind of dress it up and uh, then I took some bows and I tied them and I put them on it it only had the tree only had a few um, leaves on the end so I added more of the leaves I think these might be prima leaves I'm not certain or it might be I Am Roses or Wild Orchid Craft. I'm not certain which ones, but yes, yeah, one of those. And then I took these little miniature birds. I get mine from Paper Mart, but they come in a dozen pack. Yeah. Um, and they're about one inch. So I put one in the tree, one of the birds in the tree. And then I put one on the base of the tree. Now this tree came with this styrofoam but I wrapped I mean I took the burlap off of it and I covered it with paper and I just decorated it I took a doily and placed on it 
and then took another bird that bird and set it there and I added buttons and little flowers and yeah just all around it so and I took uh, the pieces from the ribbon to make a base so that it would sit perfectly flat and for the eggs I painted them purple also and then I brushed it with gold paint because they were like that initially but they were all different colors and I didn't want all different colors so I just painted them all purple and um, yeah then I took one of these flowers got flowers and I just cut it down the side and I placed them behind each of the eggs so that they did not look like they were just sitting and I have one I see I didn't do to it so I'm gonna do that now so you can see how I put that behind I need a big enough one and I'm gonna show you how I cut it and I put it behind the flower uh, I mean the egg okay here's one right here and what I did was I cut it on the petal and I took glue, and my glue gun is probably not hot because I just had to turn it back on. Okay, and I just took glue and put it behind. I'll have to wait for that to get hot. And I took glue and I put it on the flower and placed it behind. If you could see what I'm doing, I placed it behind the flower so that it would look like at least it had a base or something so yeah it looks like part of the tree now so as you can see that's what I did for each one of them and uh, yeah for the tussie mussies I'm going to show you these are the tussie mussies and I needed these for another project so you can see they're little teeny they're not itty bitty because I've made these I've made, I've made tussie mussies as small as um one inch before for another project so yeah this is not the smallest that I made them these are uh, three and a half inches yeah so I am going to use those for another project I'll tell you what I'll use with them but I'm going to show you how I made those too um, let's see what else did I do here oh I took some little butterflies and you can see some here I have one there and I put a little bling on it and I just attached it to the tree and here I took buttons and as you can see on the trees too I have buttons there and I took those flowers and put bling on it and put each one of those in there so that the tree did not look bare yeah so that right there and then I took some um, flowers that I get from where did I get these um, cheap trims yeah I get these little flowers from tree, cheap trims and I put those right on the edge of this crochet piece that I have on the base of of this flower I mean of this um, project right here yeah so um, to make my tussie mussies I merely take a three and a half by um, three and a half by three and a half piece of paper and you could make them I've made these as small as I made the tussie mussies as small as one inch before because all you need is a flat piece now I take something like this and I'll put it on the corner of it and I'll just cut it off so that way you will end up with something like this yeah I'll just I'll show you here so you'll see I'll, you won't have questions I'll take the the round part and put it there and then I'll just cut it off like that yeah so then you have a rounded piece a rounded edge and then I nicely take it and roll it kind of on both sides and it's as easy as this and a tussie mussy is very easy to make you guys and just take it and do that yeah and there you are and by the time you put all of your other stuff in it here's one I made they're super sturdy and 
You can use them to put goodies in them or you could take a piece of some foam or something and put it down in it and cover it up with the lace and then you could use it as a pin cushion. That is going to be another one of my projects so I'll have to show you that then but I will show you the Tussie Mussies that I've made so far. Um, yeah so that is my project you guys. Remember to go check all the other ladies out. I'm sure they have some very nice projects that you can actually use for Easter or with a spring idea. Yeah, but this right here um, you can use for any um, project just by making these little tussy mussies any color that you want. But these are the little tussy mussies I need. And believe it or not, I need even more than that. This one I actually took and I put a uh, doily, a crochet doily in it just to show you, give you an idea of how you can actually take your pieces and put them in there and then just hold it in it and the pieces won't go anywhere. But yes, this is one and then here is another one. So I have to make a bunch more of these and like I said, that would be another project. So yes, there are your... Um, Tussie Mussies, and here is the tree with nothing on it. Yes, yeah, so uh, the base of this is styrofoam, and I think it costs about either $3 or $5. I'm not certain. I saw it at Target. One day I was doing my household shopping, and I decided I can use that. So this is what I made. And that is my project, ladies. All right, thanks for watching. Remember, go check out the other ladies. Leave a comment. Um, there will be a winner, as I've said before, on every channel. So make sure you subscribe to all the other channels and leave a comment on every single channel. All right, thanks uh, for watching. Talk to you later and enjoy. Bye-bye.